Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes one and two of Life's Lessons with Udamichi Onizen. Okay, so you're probably wondering why in the world I'm possibly watching this show. So, <laughs> ever since this show has came out, I think between week one and week two of this show, I have seen this clip. And every single time when I see this clip, I, I always bust out laughing because it's so fucking hilarious to me. And I've always wanted to watch the show. And so because I was super duper busy with so many things and between that and watching Patreon videos, I've never really had like time to record any um, non Patreon request shows and stuff. So that's why I've kind of like stop taking requests and ish and I'm like you know what let me go back and get pick this back up and such so this is something that I wanted to watch and then at the same time someone kind of asked me personally to watch and stuff but I don't really know that much about this show <laughs> all I know is that it's funny there I think there's some dark humor in here there's a lot of like really dark moments especially with the main character and the situations that he um possibly goes through and it's like that and a whole bunch of other things and then plus it has some of my favorite sayus in it so i was like okay that's another fucking reason that i gotta watch it so other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode one and three two one go is this gonna make me cry though oh my god i don't want to cry you guys know me i like i hate crying on screen i look like a mess Oh God. <laughs> oh my God, look at the kids. And I think the show just ended or is going to end. Probably by the time I get this out, it should be over. Oh, I feel like this is gonna make me laugh too. Like, I feel like this is gonna be like old school daily lives of high school <laughs> high school boys reaction when I laughed too damn hard on that series or freaking kimono friends. But I feel like it's just gonna get really, really dark, like really fast. And I'm scared. Like e even though you give me the cute like look at his face, like something just tells me. Oh, and he's a smoker. Oh my god, he's fine as fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is gonna make me... Ah, the, the attachment. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, he was a gymnast! Oh! All I hear is not a music key. Go ahead, bitch. I feel like this anime probably helped a lot of people after watching this. Oh, me, 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 me. You're not alone, bruh. Oh, shit. Well, damn, little girl, what the fuck? Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, let's hope none of y'all get upset when you're adults, because you know adulting is hard. Like, yeah.
And yeah, do you not want to do it? Good job. <laughs> you right, cause I'm in that situation too, bruh. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's one of the worst things in your life, kid. <laughs> and then you gotta pay bills. Uh-huh. It's not fun. It really isn't. It sucks so much. Oh god, that face. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, mommy! <laughs> So I'm guessing maybe something, oh yeah, gotta have that quick change, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> oh god! Uh-huh. How he just felt, that's how I feel. I'm 27! <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. God damn it. Uh oh. You okay? Remember when we were all kids and we were like, oh my god, I can't wait to become an adult. Da, 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 da. Now we're adults. It's hell. Trust me. Is that supposed to happen?
know that feeling. Because we all have that mass where it's like, oh, hey, we're always happy all the time. And then, you know, when we're alone, yeah, we are exactly the fuck like that. Because, you know, it's a switch. We can just turn it off on in a heartbeat. Turn it on in a heartbeat, too. Exactly. Exactly. I really never thought I was going to relate to some. Holy shit! God! Huh. It's an anime basically saying, get your shit together. Oh my god. Even when the world is against you. Get your ish together. Just be with you. One with you. Oh, God. This is going to make me feel some things the next six weeks. Of course. Because they're just babies. When it, When you're an adult, you have to see everything. That you're depressed or... I know that feeling. Morning comes too soon. Sometimes I sleep until the fucking afternoon. And I hate that about myself. Life. This also tells you kids ask too many freaking questions. Because everybody always fucking says, oh, hey, you're at this age, or you're single as fuck, you can do this, you're going to be in the most happiest life of your time, your life of bullshit. And then you find out, you go out in the real fucking world, and you have to deal with this, this, that, that, too much. <laughs> Poor baby. You two better come out this time. I mean, hey, if Uramichi gets upset, you know. I'd rather, you know, not deal with a scary senpai. I'm <laughs> Episode one. Damn, are, are all the adults that we all depressed in this show? I mean, damn. This worse than how I feel when I'm on my for you page on TikTok and you find something that actually speaks to you. This. Me. Oh my god! Yeah, that's an audio recording.
Yeah, let's see what you two look like. Damn! God, he is so fine. Like, I I'm sorry. It's so something about him. Even though, like, he is just... He cute, too. But it's something about Udamichi. Like, it's something. Maybe it's the personality. Maybe it's the voice or something. But, like, yeah, he making me feel some type of way. <laughs> Poor thing. You're very similar to what's his face from um Rent a Girlfriend. Y'all too? Damn. I mean, yeah, he got a really pretty face. Like, oh, and that mo Oh, Girl, I know, I know the feeling. I know the fucking feeling. I know the fucking feeling. Yes, you go on Instagram. You go on Twitter. Hell, you even go on Facebook some fucking times. And you see that one of your friends got married again. Or they got fucking kids. Oh, What you thinking about, Ryuji? Ain't it funny how these two are in an anime together again? Like, ah, oh, you would give me Mamoru and on a music here. Oh, I can't. It's too much. My fangirl heart. <laughs> My ship. Honestly, you're making me want to go to the gym or to go on a bike ride. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Damn his arms. I, I need to stop, but you know, he's on me. <laughs> Hi, what's up?
not in here. I might have to go turn the air down. <laughs> he just under the weather. <sighs> mm-hmm. That'll be okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, don't be sorry for him. <laughs> it's okay. It's gonna be fine. I hope you're not gonna draw. Okay, alright. So, what the fuck? What types of dreams you be having? We ain't even done with the first episode, Jesus. Hmm? <laughs> so you want to talk about me, huh? <laughs> Oh, damn. You probably beat the shit out of him. I mean, <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so all I gotta say is, even though I still got one more episode to say, to watch, bruh, I have never had a show. I've had some shows, like, you know when a show really speaks to you and how you're feeling at that certain age and everything? I've never had that up until now. I mean, like, well, yeah, some, some of the other shows that are, that have, like, adult characters as the main characters in the situations that they're going through, and it's very similar to the ones that you're going through, yes. But this, fucking this, like, oh my god, I never would have thought that we would have talked about or, like, having a moment where you're, you're at whatever age, your early 20s, your late 20s, or your early 30s, and you go on any type of social media uh, app and you see your friends from high school, your friends from middle school, your friends from elementary school, or friends from wherever. They're married, they have fucking kids, and, you know, they're moving on with your life. And you're sort of, like, stuck. That's what it is for me. I, I'm at an age where, and I hate to, I don't like to put my personal information out there sometimes, but fuck it, I'm going to do it. I'm at an age where I still don't know what the fuck I want to do for my life. Yes, I want to be a Japanese in, um, interpreter. That's my, that's now my 100% my dream, my goal. But the steps to get there and thinking of what the heck I have to do, it gets, when you really think about it and wanting to do anything, it gets really stressful on you and such. And in the end, when you are like, stuck and you have to figure out certain things it's really really tedious and when you have like or if you have like a family member or someone who is close to you and someone gets sick or whatever and then all these things come come up to you and they're running up to you all way too fucking fast you feel like things are ganging up on you and you feel like you're a little tiny ball that's about to like implode and explode on someone because you're keeping so much inside. <laughs> Whoa, God. Like, <laughs> this is like fucking episode one. But the fact that it's like, to have something that, like, freaking shows you how you fucking feel, like, in this fucking time. Like, oh, my God. I, I know, because, like, it's, so, it's just, it, it's fucking hilarious to me. But then at the same time, I am so fucking scared to see what the hell this show is going to do for episode two to, like, I think, what, the there's 13 episodes of this show. And I feel like what the things we about to see in this show are particularly what I'm about to see for the next like six weeks. Bruh, this is gonna like 
probably screw me over. Like, think about, like, okay, let, let's go back to last year, and I hate to always go back to last year. When COVID got as big as it's, it's gotten, and you had adults who were financially stable and independent, and because of this, is that, the third, and people losing their jobs and everything, a lot of people had to move back with their parents. And there are some people who had, like, really tragic, you know, things with their families. And imagine having to move back with your parents after that. Thank God that's never happened to me where I'm on, I'm still, like, on good relationship standards with both of my, my, both my parents and such. But at the same time, you know how you want to be independent and stuff, but you're so, like, wanting to take care of everybody else that you you say all these things to like help people but then when it's your time to get help you don't have that much like encur you have encouragement from your family and everything and you have encouragement from yourself but you feel like it's not enough or you always downplay yourself or you put yourself down and this is that and third and you're saying that you're not good enough or this is that and third and you know, you put in a job application and no one calls you back and such. Like, I'm still kind of giving you all the certain situations that I go through. The parent situation, that that's not that's not me. That's an example of someone who I knew. Um, but the job thing, that is hella me in a nutshell. Because it, it's like, even now, it, it's sort of kind of somewhat easy to find, like, jobs. And at the same time, it's still hard, it's still hard because you never know what the fuck is going to happen. But, like, oh, God. <laughs> Holy episode one and damn it. Oh my god, but yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay, episode two and three, two, one, go. Huh. Oh my god. I didn't turn the air down. Well, you know what? It's okay. Well, the air is on now. I know, right? Oh, they fucked up your hair. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yes, that too. Say it again for the people in the back because, oh, I felt that. Seriously, bruh. <laughs> Udamichi. What the? Once again, what types of dreams you be having about that thing? I mean, woo, you, you said it in the first episode, but I need, we need one episode where, you know, we go into your dreams, like, and freaking, um, oh my god, my, uh, not my next life, um, the demon girl next door. Where Shamiko went into Momo's dreams and ish, and we get to see what the fuck is going on in her dreams because his. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Star Wars? Because th that's what I'm getting already, yeah. This music kind of scares me. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. You need to, you know, get that meme, that one meme with the, the frog, and it's like, my reasons of living, and it's a picture of something like, you know, anime character, somebody you care about, be like, yes, that is my reason to live. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh my god. I'm okay. Mm hmm. I'm okay. You did it. You just, once again, you're making me fall more and more in love with Mamoru and his ish, because, you know, how can you not fall in love with that man? Because. Yeah. You want some coffee? <laughs> it just reminds me of like, mm. Imagine being a, someone who works at a daycare and you have to deal with kids and you are having a really bad fucking morning. You know, I'm just waiting for the day that these two seiyus make a whole album together. They've done certain songs together, but I need a whole album. Good behind album. Come on now, Persona 5 is almost over. The year of Persona is like almost gone. We're almost about to go into Persona 6. So before, <laughs> I need moving. Even though he ain't sick, but still. <laughs> what the And if he's going to get paid. <laughs> yeah, he seems like an asshole. I don't like the director. Right? 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 That's the same thing. What a parent. Mm. Poor babies. 
Exactly. independent too yeah I felt that <sighs> no 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 you spoke your feelings that's okay you fine I agree with you <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes you feel like you're going to go crazy, right? And she's still going to go crazy, even though she's living with someone. If this show don't get nominated for anything, there is something wrong. <laughs> it's a nice looking plant. I feel like probably, <laughs> I, I feel like they have a lot of bloopers on this. <laughs> because Momoro is laughing too damn hard with his character. I mean, come on, episode one in a nutshell with the fucking dick joke. <laughs> So they need to put that on like some special features. <laughs> okay. But do that ish now. You mother.
I'd be afraid to turn. Oh, I bet you do. Oh my god, they are so cute. <laughs> well damn, kids. Right. Like I can't. <sighs> you don't have to work today, do you? So sleep. <laughs> oh God. You gotta love him. Yeah, what are you gonna do on your day off? Oh, kitty, hi. Oh, you gonna snatch up that fish, ain't you? <laughs> that back talk. <laughs> huh? Is that what I think it is? Okay, no. <laughs> All 
a reason to live. The dog. Oh my god. Oh, that is Cody in a nutshell. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. <laughs> oh. She precious though. She best girl. Here with the one equipment money. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. I really, I want to find out who Urumichi is voiced by because his voice, like. Whoa! I can't. Once again, only episode two. But Jesus, I mean, come on, just have a moment to drink. You know, it's the weekend. You probably got to go back to work tomorrow. You don't get too drunk, just tipsy or buzz, and then after that, knock out. Shut up. Was ever oh oh shit you want to go to the hospital and go get it wrapped on a bandage because you probably broke one of your toes or a couple probably that big toe bra Take him to the hospital. Oh, you see a smirk. Oh my. That smirk. Um. Oh God. Um. That smirk. <laughs> that smirk. I mean. Men, anime men, right? Am I right? I'm, I'm fucking right. Cause, whoa, God, mm. <laughs> I can't. Oh my God, this is a good episode. I mean, honestly, to see another full week of him working and then coming to Sunday, where I'm guessing is his only day off, but to see what everyone else is truly doing on their days off, very interesting. I feel bad for that kitty who did not get that fish, cause. It was right there, right, like to the point where the cat could just touch it. It could be right in his palms, and then you know, seagull like, yeah, bitch, and be like, you know, like, that's like how I. Oh my god, I, I I love telling this story so freaking much. Okay, so when I was in middle school, my mom, um, we had like this barbecue, and. So many times, anytime, anytime when we went on like a, fav a family gathering, wrong thing, a friend gathering, people who we still kind of f consider family in a way, but your other family and it's like that, um, 
<laughs> my mom had made this type of strawberry cake where it was like it, it's one of them dome type thingies where you know you make a cake um the inside is almost like quote unquote hollowed out where you can stuff stuff in there and this like that so my mom would take frozen strawberries and whipped cream she would still kind of like heat up the strawberries to get a little bit of juice and everything and then once the strawberries cooled down added the strawberries with the jam or fl juice flavoring and it's like that with the whipped cream make a really like nice and smooth yummy as heck and add a little bit of sugar and everything um and then stuff it into the cake and then have another cake on top of it and stuff so every place any like anytime when we had a gathering um, people will have it and I always wanted to try it. So there was one time when we had a gathering at our house when we were living in military housing and um, I was babysitting the kids because mainly that was my job and such um, because at the time even sometimes now depending on where I'm going um, every, all the kids were always younger than me and it's like that so I was at the time I was in middle school so I was like maybe 14 14 maybe 15 years old so okay I I got a piece of the cake right and I ate a couple of bites and I said okay you know what I'm gonna save this for later so I told one of the little kids I said hey go put this in the fridge for me and just let it chill in there okay so everyone leaves later on probably about like one two three o'clock in the morning right um I go to bed with my mom after helping her clean and everything. I wake up the next morning slash afternoon and I'm like, oh, you know what I want? I want my cake. And you know how when you are so excited about getting some ice cream, some cake, like something, and you are like, yes, I'm gonna get my cake today. Like, yeah, you're doing some dances-ish like that. Going down the hallway like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> some dumb-ish like, yes, like, mm -hmm, give me this. <laughs> What do you got? So I finally make it to the refrigerator, right? And I'm just like, yeah, get my cake, yeah! Open it up. The cake is gone. 14, 15 year old me was devastated because that cake was so good and I finally got it. So I'm guessing, apparently, when the adults were getting uber wasted and it, somebody went into my refrigerator and took my goddamn cake. And even as of now, at age 27 years old, I am still bitter about that ish. And my mom's like, you know, no, DJ, get over it. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, no woman. I wanted that cake. I wanted that cake. And somebody took my motherfucking cake. Imagine, like the same thing. Imagine if it's something you really excited for. And you go in the fridge and it ain't there. How you gonna feel? That's like if you go to work <laughs> or anywhere and you bring in your lunch or you go on a date, dinner date with a, with a guy, girl, or a friend dinner date and then somebody eats the shit off of your plate. That's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. But yeah, seeing everybody on their off day was really nice. I mean... They have so much dealing with kids. <laughs> I, I, you know, I gotta, I gotta hand take it, give it to the like the freaking dare daycare workers and the teachers and everything, especially for like elementary kids. Um, I, I remember even as a kid, I could not handle kids because sometimes kids can be a little too much and stuff. But the one thing that I've always learned about dealing with kids is kind of really to take your time. Even with, like, I have a cousin who, um, her mind is that of that of, like, a little kid. So, there are some times where, like, she kind of irritates me when I have to explain certain things to her and stuff. And she will lash out and everything. But I have to kind of take my time with her because if I do one little thing, it'll just set her off and stuff. And so... Yeah, it, it, woo, because sometimes you you want to go off, but it's like at the same time, you're like, no, 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 you can't do that. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. So you have to, you know, it, it, like you have to put on this mask and inside you're feeling like, ooh, but outside you're just happy. Just got to be happy. So, you know, got to give it to these characters every single week with everything that they have to do dealing with this ish but other than that guys that is my reaction to be towards episodes one and two of life lessons of Unamichi <laughs> if you 
you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all next Friday for Episodes 3 and 4. Bye, guys.